<laughs> Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dragon Fable. I have been having a doozy of a time trying to get this recorded. First of all, I do believe that I originally, had, before I had recorded Delta Rune, I had had a few more videos worth of footage in this game that uh, did not come to fruition, as it were. What happened was, basically, I recorded the video and the file for some reason was stagnant instead of like an actual video, it was just a couple of pictures that would change every now and then. So obviously I couldn't upload that. However, I had recorded like all of the quest chain that we were doing here before I managed to get those other bits uploaded, but I remember where we left off, I made sure to check. I also tried recording this last night, and just things went wrong, things went horribly wrong. I use OBS to record like the video game footage, but I use Audacity to... I use Audacity to record my voice, because I like to put some... Uh, I like to run it through some a few effects to, you know, make my voice sound a little better. Obviously, there's not very much you can do to dress my voice up. I always sound like I'm half asleep, but it just comes across better, and I'm not as quiet, and it helps. Rather than just the raw. Also, the noise filter is great. I love that. But, can't really do that with OBS, and I don't feel like mixing and matching the game and mic audio there to make sure that I'm balanced right through trial and error because I could just do it separately if I record them separately. So that's what I like to do. Well, uh, I will get to this once I'm in the quest. I'm going to read this first. Cordana said that Dracoth is heading north. He was making his way to our clan's oldest foe, a devil fox called o Okuchi no Okami. The, th the thief stole many of our most prized ninja scrolls long ago. We have made several attempts to get the scrolls back, but Okami moves them every few days. He always keeps them close. If Dracoth can lead you to Okami, then your mission is to get our scrolls back for the pride of the clan. Return once you have found Dracoth's hiding spot, and when you have the scrolls in hand. Go now, you have your orders. Alright, so where was I? Yeah, OBS was recording my microphone. And because I was still trying to record in Audacity, Audacity was recording my microphone, but it was like half as loud as it usually is, which is a handicap that I cannot afford. Even running it through all those effects, um, I was barely audible. Which, you know, not the best. Also, on top of all of that, when I finally dropped the video file in Vegas, because I think I was just going to do post commentary, if it didn't, if I couldn't salvage that was, uh, the video was just a green screen for an hour, so, yeah. There's hilarious amounts of misfortune happening. Oh, right, I think what I was in the middle of saying was OBS, my settings were off because, uh, because I got a new computer between now and the last time that I, uh, recorded a Let's Play. That's why I didn't upload the last two videos or so of Delta Rune was because, well, I had them rendered and stuff, and they were on, and they were ready to be uploaded. I was probably going to upload them in the next couple of days, or in the day that I came back from wherever I was at the time to my computer, I would have had them uploaded. But my computer quit working, <laughs> so I needed to get a new one, and that's why the OBS settings were wrong, and that's why my audio, as far as commentary, got screwed up in a massive way. And then the video also didn't turn- I managed to fix that whole problem, hopefully. I'll be a little upset if I get to the end of this hour of recording and then don't have any thing to show for it again. I might not be able to do this quest chain for a while. I might need to take another break. 
come put away your weapon and speak with me. Okami, I have come for two reasons. I need information from you, and I want the Shadow of the Wind Ninja Scrolls back. I would like to point out that the paint that's on his snout there, just the way it works, makes it look like an evil mustache almost. Snarl, you are a very forward child. I can appreciate that. Let's begin with the information. What do you ask of Okami? A man named Dracoth has come this direction. He has something else that I want. Have your spies seen him? Prince Dracoth? Yes, I have seen him. In fact, I sold him information only a few days ago. He paid well. You? You told him where it was, but why? If you knew the location, you could have taken it yourself. I have my reasons. As a show of good faith, I will tell you where Dracoth is for free. He, f he can be found hiding, cowering in the fire caves north of here, near the coast. Oh, whoops. I skipped one because I was looking away. What's your price? The scrolls, the scrolls that I worked so hard to obtain from the shadow of the ninja clan. I have studied them for many years and I'm just now beginning to uncover secrets hidden within secrets. There are magical arts hidden within these scrolls that Titan and his sad little t clan have no idea about. Leave the scrolls here with me and I will lead you to Dracif and help you capture Titan's precious precious jewel of the four winds. What do you say? You know, I'm mildly curious on what would happen if I clicked this one, and I've had to, like, not select it twice over now. I'm gonna see what goes on. The end. <laughs> you agree to leave the shadow of the wind ninja clan scrolls in the hands of the monster Okami. He and his ninja army help you corner Dracoth, most of Okami's army is lost in the battle, but in the end, Dracoth is defeating and defeated and the Jewel of the Four Winds is yours. You return the Jewel and, th oh wait, is Thyton and the entire shadow of the Wind Clan regards you as a hero for a while. In the summer following your victory, the town comes under attack. Using the skills that he unlocked, Okami lays waste to the entire village. Thyden gives his life in a last-ditch effort to protect the village, but his sacrifice is in vain. The clan turns for, to you for leadership. You walk out to discuss the terms of surrender with the monster, but all he does is smile and thank you for leaving the scrolls in his hands. The villagers know the truth when they hear it, and Okami simply laughs as the shadow of the wind clan tears you to pieces for your betrayal. <laughs> this is your second chance. Try again. Alright, that was hardcore. I was... Oh, that was a pleasant surprise. Tears me to pieces for my betrayal. That's awesome. <laughs> no, you ask too much. I am a loyal ninja and will accomplish my mission no matter what. I will leave the scroll. I will leave here with the scrolls. Wrong. You will not leave here at all. All right. Let's heal right quick. And there we go. Oh yeah. We do not want to hit him with a, uh, a fire element weapon because he is of the fire element. <laughs> Oh, he resisted the immobility effect. He didn't do that last time, and I'm a little upset that this happened. At least I got him with the dot. Hmm. Sixty-three, not too shabby. Hmm, nice. Uh, hit him with blind. Ow, that is the opposite of what blind should do. <laughs> he should be missing me, not hitting me with forty-two attack. Ow, thirty-seven too. All right, that's better. We've pulled ahead. Uh, but not for long, it looks like. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Things are looking better now. Uh, we'll use smoke. I don't see why not. I thought he got stuck for a second. On one hand, getting 
your opponent getting stuck is a pain because you're just waiting there for several minutes or several seconds waiting for them to a 71 that was snazzy several seconds waiting for them to attack and they don't but when you unstick them it usually just skips back to your turn well done ninja you have the scroll you have the scrolls and the information Draketh is hiding in deep in one of the volcanic island's volcanic caves awaiting rescue Return to Thiton in the shadow of the Wind Village with this information and the long missing ninja scrolls. Lower Okami code. <laughs> uh, that's great. It's not as genuine of a laugh when I realized what that joke was last time, or last night when I played, but it, it's still funny. Okami code. I'm gonna go sell that though. Because. Stabs are not my best, or stabs are not in my best interest to use. I'm gonna keep this uh, rapier on us too because we don't want to be packing fire. Whoops, no, I don't want that. Alright, walk through fire. This quest can be a pain because there's some, in because there are some environmental hazards that are significantly less than good. Ouch. Also, if you're an idiot like me and forget to, uh, defense points it up first, uh, you can also take some unnecessary damage in the first fight you have. Ow. You see, later on, each of the base classes gets, like, a upgraded form, I suppose. They function basically the same way, they just function better than the original classes. Such as when I go and use the equivalent, that class's equivalent of smoke, I am usually not taking any damage, they are missing me every time. So taking 10 or 15 or 8 or however many damage from this is mildly alarming. Yeah, so you gotta wait for the fire to pass because I'm used to just being able to not take any damage. Still way better than taking the brunt of all of the attack, obviously, but I wish they would miss me more. Uh, for example, he might miss me now because... Oh, he blocked it? He did not, and I got poisoned. Man, that is nerds. Why did my rapid attack go away? I hit him. Oh wait, he blocked it, that's why. Alright, throw. I had to redo this one last night too, because I just got... I got owned by a... I eventually got knocked down. Like, killed, etc. And then, like a dummy. You see, the environmental hazards can't kill you. Like, you won't be taken out of the fight on the overworld map there. You have to be in combat to die. But you can lose health, obviously. But if you're at 1 HP, there's no health to lose. Well, like a dummy, I used my health potions that I had waiting for me before I passed all of the environmental hazards. Not my finest hour. These lava davers, I swear, I hate them. They are not my favorite. They are my least favorite. <laughs> oh, they missed me though. That one did. That one did not. Alright, we're gonna wild dagger. Oh, I missed one! That's not cool. Um, we're just gonna focus on killing this guy. Mmm! Delicious. Get him. Yes. Okay. Mm, good. Almost out of mana. Ooh, 79. That was awesome. Oh, God. All right. Oh, snap. I am running out of mana. 
I'm not gonna have enough to get me through all of this fight. I might as well just use one now. Okay, there we go. Got that. Block for three. It's better than ten. At least for me, anyway. I'm sure Mr. Fire Elemental over there is not in the highest of spirits about it. Uh, hit aimed, I suppose. Ow. Ha! Ow. Um, blind? There we go. Ha! And awesome. Let's get out of here before that damages me. Okay. So I'm gonna try and get through. Oh. I'm gonna try and get through this without uh, needing my potion. Of course, if I can get past this spider, I don't think I have any more hazards to deal with. really hope this spider misses me for this first shot. He did not. Although I blocked it, so I'm not taking, like, poison damage. That's good. Now he's just not going to be able to touch me. Hopefully I can kill him before he can. Whew. I don't think I've ever been in a position to talk about how my older brother, when watching me play games, likes to tell me that it seems like I'm not having fun if I'm not at 10% of my HP. Because we played the game Neo together when that came out, and I would constantly, like, just be going, uh, I wouldn't pull back at all, or anything like that. I would just be going, I wouldn't try to heal. <laughs> Just because I wasn't, I just don't typically think about doing that. Or like, games like Devil May Cry, I will deliberately not play as well as I possibly can. Not in the sense that like, uh, I won't play for like style points or anything like that in that game. More like in the first game, for example, I will, uh... When fighting Phantom, big lava spider, not or not like the one that I just fought on the Dragon Fable here, but he's actually way cooler than that. But when fighting Phantom, I'll I will take. It comes down to I take stupid risks that I probably shouldn't, but I do anyway because it's a lot more fun for me that way. <laughs> so just the running through this cave of lava with one with 50 HP to my name was amusing to me as all. Oh no. I found a secret area. Okay. I've got A Daver. He has 80 HP. Oh, he resisted the immobility. That's not good. Oh, doctor. That was close. But yeah. Games I'm good at, like I am good at Devil May Cry. I'm not gonna put out like any kind of professional combo videos or anything, but I'm good enough to play it on the highest difficulty and beat it more than once, so it's not a fluke. <laughs> or just games that are hard anyway. Like I would definitely not claim to be good at Neo, but I was capable enough of playing it. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't play it necessarily in the best way that maybe someone who was really good at games like those would. 
But yeah, the moral of the story is I take stupid risks in games all the time. Yeah, I think deliberately ignoring health items is something that it was just a habit I picked up from Devil May Cry. That it's less, it's not even so much that it's like in Devil May Cry, using health items will take your ranking down at the end of the mission and stuff. But it's less that for me and more of I just keep thinking I can get by without using it just because. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Usually it turns out I'm wrong, but there's just something very exciting about being on your last leg and then just dodging for like two minutes thinking that you were got <laughs> for, you know, 150 seconds of those two minutes. Or 150 seconds of those two minutes. I'm stupid. I mean 110 seconds. I was sitting there. I don't know why the number 160 came into my head instead of 120. I am stupid. <laughs> I'm, I'm also real dumb here. These Davers are ruining my day. Ver. <laughs> um. So, I think I'll survive. Unless he critical hits me. Should be good. I gotta go back to heal, though. You see, for something like this, though, it would be silly to not... It'd be silly to try and bank on my ability to, uh... Manipulate the RNG that way. At least Devil May Cry or something like that or Neo is reflex-based. That being said, I'm pretty sure I've taken dumb risks in Final Fantasy games before. I can't point to a specific instance at the moment, but I'm pretty sure I've done it. Uh. Excuse me. This isn't like a, oh, here's one. This isn't like a massive great stakes risk as far as Final Fantasy is concerned, but you know how the characters in Tan all have monsters that they're better equipped to deal with than everyone else? Well, oftentimes I'll just be like, screw that, and use like, say, Kamari to attack like a wasp or whatever that Waka should be dealing with, just in the hopes that he'll get it. It works sometimes. It works more often than not, I think, or I wouldn't do it so much. But, oh, well, I'll shut up now. Yes, Dracula. Oh, I skipped one of the boxes. Give me the wind orb. Why would you even be interested in it? Why are you even interested in it? You don't know how to use its power. I know more than you think. Anyway, Sepulchre gives the orders. For now, I cannot fail him. Dude, you're letting your star scream show in a bad way. And I can't let you walk off the island with the orb. You can either give it to me and run away, or you, or I can take it back and you can crawl away. <laughs> there is nothing that you could do to me that is more or that is worse than the price for failing Sepulchre. I have a feeling that you will be the one crawling, peasant. If you think you can take the wind orb from me, then come and get it. Battle. <laughs>